Happy Friday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Yeah. The excitement is real. It was a balmy one degree Fahrenheit early this morning for opening day at Vail Mountain, but not one person there at Midvale was complaining. Awesome. Unbelievable. For the first day, it was great. That was Rich and Karen from Avon. Making his first turns on his hometown hill was Austin from Westvale. Yeah, I'm loving it. We got that champagne pal, first tree run of the season. I'm, I'm psyched. Man. You've already been back in the trees? Yeah, yeah, first time of the year. We spotted a whole lot of mountain bikes and four-wheelers on I-70 traveling west to Grand Junction and beyond. Are you ready to give up summer for winter? No, nah, winter couldn't have come sooner. Did a lot of fishing, could use a little more, but now with the, the powders here, I'm sucked. I actually had some buddies invite me to go mountain bike my lab this weekend and I turned it down. Vail is celebrating 60 years this season. John Plack with the resort. We're gonna have two ice bars, a birthday bash from December 15th to the 17th. We have a brand new gondola cabin. Folks will feel the 60th anniversary around every corner. Spending now at Vail are both gondolas out of Vail Village and Lion's Head. You have chair four out of Midvale and chair 15 for beginner turns out of Eagle's Nest. Out at Breck this morning, it was opening day for the brand new Rips Ride High Speed Quad serving the Bunny Hill on Peak 8. Crystal 93's Tana Lockhart was talking with Keystone COO Chris Sorensen this week, looking ahead to big things when Mountain House Base Area opens. Last Lift Bar will be opening this year, and so during you know COVID, we, we didn't have it open, and so really excited to open that operate back up. That's obviously a huge local's favorite. Sorensen did not say when Last Lift would open. Tune in this weekend at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. daily for Tana's full interview with Sorensen. Another day, another top 10 list, claiming the T-Bar at Breckenridge is one of the, quote, sketchiest chairlift rides in Skeetum. Writes Ski Mag, not necessarily scary, but often an interesting experience when riding with or behind a snowboarder. One person was killed, and another nearly died from fentanyl overdoses in Breckenridge this week. Breckenridge police report the pills are small and circular, resembling Oxycontin, Vicodin, and Xanax, sold under the street name Dirty 30s. Local avalanche danger is moderate again today in the Vale and Summit County areas. Your problem is persistent slab on north to northeast aspects at and above tree line. In sports, the Avalanche beat the Predators last night 5-3. to three. Today, the Nuggets play the Celtics at 5. Michaela Schifrin and World Cup women are back on snow tomorrow and Sunday for Slalom in Levy, Finland. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. For the first time in 14 years, Summit High Football is hosting a playoff game. Yeah, it should be a great night. I mean, it's uh, it's going to be playoff atmosphere and um, some of the best teams in the state going at it. So looking forward to the opportunity, no doubt about it. That was head coach James Wagner on the Crystal Morning Show. He expects a cold, windy, ground and pound sort of game tonight when Summit plays Frederick. Kickoff is 6 p.m. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.